Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, we're going to explore how to create a configuration of a sheet metal part done in SolidWorks that shows the flat. And there's a couple ways to do this. There's a manual approach. Uh, I'm going to talk about the automatic approach, which I recommend you use. So let's say that we have a uh, U-shaped channel here. We'll make a uh, sheet metal shape out of this. By the way, you can right mouse click the command manager and turn on the sheet metal portion of that command manager. So I'll go to my base flange tab and I'll drag for a length and there's my sheet metal part. Okay. Now notice at this point we have uh, just a single body and we have a single configuration, just default. Now if you've worked with sheet metal before, you'll know that it creates a flat pattern feature at the end of the tree, and that flat pattern is suppressed. That's why it's grayed out. Okay. Uh, now, if we were to unsuppress this, it's going to flatten out our part. But the way I recommend you configure your part is the following. Let SolidWorks do the work. So, the secret to this is to just create a drawing and drop in a flat pattern view. That's all. We'll save our part. Okay. We'll select the drawing template size. We'll go to our view palette over on the right and we'll gra drag our flat pattern view into our drawing automatically adding the bin notes. That's all. We don't even have to save the drawing at this point. Back to our part and something has happened inside the part automatically it has created a default SM flat pattern. Now if we activate that, that flattens our part. And the way it does that is in the derived configuration that unsuppresses the flat pattern feature at the end of the tree. If we go back, back to the default now, you can see that's suppressed. So let SOLIDWORKS do that automatically. Uh, there's a lot of advantages for that. This is Tim Roberts at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.